Hi, this is a preview of the course Those Darn Squirrels Fly South. It's our online book club. So once you've logged in, um, you will go to your course and then you'll see your class curriculum listed here. You'll hit Start, Next Lecture. And the very first um, lecture you'll come up to is the If This Is Your First Book Club. And you can watch this video that will explain some things about the book club. It will also explain what our rabbit trails and magic test are, which will be all throughout the book club. In orange, you will see any notes that are provided for the parents. You can hit complete and continue. And the next section is our book list. This book is Those Darn Squirrels Fly South. You can click on that and it will take you to the Amazon uh, link so you can find that. You'll also need a notebook for any notes, copy work, or journaling that you might want to do click complete and continue and the next um, list will be your project supplies list you obviously don't have to do all the projects that I have listed but if you decide to these are some of the things you might need and these should um, be laying around the house okay next will be our first lesson now in all of our book clubs there's a reading of vocabulary vocabulary portion. However, for the small picture books or the mini courses, there will only be one of these sections. In the larger book courses, there will be several of them. In this one, the reading will be the book. The writing will be anything that you find interesting, a sentence or a paragraph, depending on how old your child is and how much they can write, or maybe you can just write something for them. Um, any words that are not understood, put them in the journal and to look them up. You can pick a passage for copy work if you'd like to do that and check the punctuation. Maybe talk about the different punctuations, the capitalization on there. And then if you have a favorite passage, you can always leave it in the comment section. When you're done, you hit complete and continue. Now our first lesson is called Two Bright Fireflies and Smelly Lilacs. And if you've read the book, you'll know what that means. So our first rabbit trail is about lilacs. So the student will read this portion or the mom or dad can read it to them and then they can click on this Wikipedia um, article and read about it. Complete and continue and then you will go to the first magic dust. This one is draw a lilac so that you can watch the video and your children can draw a lilac and they can share a picture in the comments section. And then we go to the next section, which is a go outside on an adventure. So there'll be several of these throughout the book club. And this one's on a spring day, so I'm not sure when you'll be doing this, but right now it's winter, so we wouldn't be doing the spring day adventure. But if you're in the spring, you might go out and observe, go outside and observe the flowers. Do you notice any lilacs blooming? What do they smell like to you? Take out your sketchbook and draw something that you see in bloom. Look it up, find out what it is. And then you may notice other things outside. So this is a little trip outside into nature. You can make comments or you could leave us a picture of your sketch. And then we go to the next rabbit trail which is fireflies. And again, you click on any of these to go watch the videos or to read the articles. And then the next go outside on adventure is a summer day. So if you're in the summer you could go out and look for fireflies. And then when you complete and continue, you'll notice that all the ones that you've done have a check mark. That just tells you how far along you are in the book club. If you look up here, we're 47% complete. Now this next section has our first magic dust. So I'm going to skip over to that one. The magic dust are projects that you can do. Do not feel like you have to do all of them, but you might pick one or two per book club to do. So this one talks about migration and the birds migrating and we use the great backyard bird count as one of the projects we're going to do. So you can go outside and you can count the birds. That is in February so you can click on that and find out about that. Here's some more migration activities. You can use these guides and these picture prompts. So just various different projects that you can do and then you can leave us some comments there. If you look over here to the left, there's more rabbit trails, more going outside. This was the autumn day. If we're going down, you'll see that there's another rabbit trail and some more magic dust. We'll click on that magic dust and we're going to 
paint a flying squirrel. And then again, another go outside on adventure on a winter day. At the end of each book club, even our mini courses, we have a party school. So in this party school, the, chil um, the children will have a fiesta. Because the uh, squirrels have a fiesta when they migrate with the birds, we talk about the word fiesta here, and the kids can learn what that means. And then we talk about different foods you can eat in your fiesta. So here's some examples of some foods. Every book club will have foods listed so that you can have your little party school. There's also some ideas for decorations. So these are some different things that you can do just to make your kitchen or, or wherever you might be having your book club a little more fun. You can invite friends over and do a few things with them. And also every party school has some activities. So here's our little magic dust of activities. There's several different activities that you could play or do or participate in. I do not think that you have to do all of them, obviously, but maybe one or two you can pick. I always give you plenty to choose from. And that's the end of Those Darn Squirrels Fly South Book Club Preview.